Alrighty then. <laughs> At least it's over. Basically, um... Well, as y'all noticed... It's over. Double Zeta's over. Now we move on to the next part of the plot, which is essentially going to be Gundam Wing and the original characters. Because Nakia's route is all about Gundam Wing and the alternate universe stuff. The other boy, Fio, which... I honestly don't know if I'm going to do or not. He's all about new types and coordinators. Let's get ready. As you may have noticed now, the Wing Boys officially upgraded to their Endless Waltz units. Officially. I made some for them to use, because... Yeah, why not? By the way, this is when Hito gets, um... Wing Zero and everything, and Trace declares his own thing, you know, the whole... Trace's faction versus White Fang. So yeah, launch G team. And here he comes, His Excellency, the Greatness, Trays. Ah, uh, Lady Un. Because remember, Hito dished the wing gun a bit ago, so this is his last appearance. Beware, I'm going to murder them all. It's just. It's funny. But I'm gonna let Wu Fei deal with them. So yeah, we're gonna literally murder all of them. So we at least do a hit. But yeah, because this game doesn't go with the original way, it adds endless waltz, they upgrade to their endless waltz suits immediately. Which the endless waltz are essentially alternate interpretations of their original stuff. Man, I forgot. Alright, oh, we're good. I was thinking differently because I remember that beam weapons aren't supposed to work on these things. Yeah. So right now, White Fang versus Trazer's faction.
We'll kill two of them right there and then leave two left, looks like. Can't hit a super coordinator that easily. So this all works. You know what? Yeah. Wait. Ah, uh, tell these three. At least weaken them. That's good. Yeah, one of them's gonna die. Yeah, I love how they're using Toggies like crazy. It makes you wonder the pilot. Cause never forget the pilot they used it before Zex did. He died. Cause the amount of pressure you need to even use a Toggies. It makes you wonder though. For the tall geese 2 and 3 and the tall geese flugel and stuff, did they reduce the amount of pressure needed to operate the thing? The world may never know. Let's hope we can at least, we can at least kill that Toggies.
Yeah, actually, wasn't this? Yeah, this is probably um, Gundam Seed Destiny's debut in a SD Gundam game. In the case of Super Robot Wars, it unfortunately got its debut with Godner in that um, real time strategy looking game. Scramble Commander 2. That's what it was. Super Robot Wars Scramble Commander 2, I think. Proceed Destiny. At least we're slowly killing them off. The downside is we still haven't waited until Trace is fashion out of turn. So there's one left, or a couple. I think that's one thing they got, um, Van Presto got right with Super Raw Wars. Was the ability to just quicken scenes. Yeah, you can zoom through the cutscenes of any attack now with the current era Super Raw Wars. That was a step in the right direction. Dang, only hit one. Barely. Ah, oh, come on, so many enemies. At least one of them is guaranteed to be dead. Not both of them are guaranteed to be dead. Epi Hunt is such a broken unit. It's unfortunate now we're gonna lose at this stage because Hito's gonna get wing zero. Then here comes this guy. Counterattack. Mm -hmm. 
Dear God. Okay, time for Trey's faction. Oh snap, he already want he wanted that Wufe. Trey's is right about one thing. War should be between men, not machines. In the sense of his chivalry. That's why I can understand why he's against mobile dolls. Well, he's using a tall geese three. Whoa. His Excellency is truly a great. He's just truly a great blessing. remember this part. It's where every hit Wufei tried to do wouldn't work or anything because Trace was too skilled. Until... Let's see if they do it. Not yet. Essentially, it was like uh, an attempt to sneak attack. It's kind of debated, I guess, because... Did Wu Fei somehow manage to beat him? Did Trace let him win? Did Wu Fei do a sneak attack? We'll never know. You gotta love it how Trace's faction isn't even using any Oz mobile suits. Well. Sorry, it doesn't have all only Oz mobile suits. It's, it's got some bars in, it's got all this other stuff. Finally, some Osmo suits, them Leos. But yeah, I'm gonna probably put some dinosaurs gun in this game, in this channel. And we killed two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to refill on the mothership after this round. Cause I'm using a double data's energy like crazy.
All right, super mode. Oh snap, they have a combo attack now. That's so sad, Wufei can't join in. It's best not rely upon it just yet though. Honestly, I do hate the NS Waltz upgrades compared to the original upgrades, mainly because they have less attacks and less options to them. Like whereas Death Scythe had it, the the shield attack, the Death Scythe Hell doesn't even have a shield. It's only just a scythe. Oh yeah, next turn these should all be dead. Yeah, actually they all should be dead. That takes care of those two, so looks like we're about to be done with um Y Fang's forces in like a turn.
I take care of them. Then we have one left to take out the next turn. Wait, what? She's not a new type. I think. Did not, I honestly did not expect that. I'll, let's go all the way. She has zero drive archetype. Yeah, I guess it's her zero drive. Okay, I know for a fact that the first one's probably gonna be dead. But it's just in case. Try and wipe out White Fang's forces first, and then I can wipe off the rest. By the beginning, yeah, by their turn, they'll all be wiped out. Okay, they're dead next turn. Share these very badly damaged them. Dang. I'll 
three are dead. Try and think right now. Eh. We'll just damage them for now, and then we can finish everybody except Trey's off the next turn. Alright, Mega Cannon. Yeah, can move. Okay, it looks like White Fang will be killed in one turn, and so will all of Trey's faction except for Trey's. Dang, never mind. I forgot about that three right there. I guess almost all of them. Which means one turn left and they're all dead. He's gotta hurry these guys up and kill them all. It's just quickness, since using up too much attack is a waste of energy and a waste of time.
He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I knew he would attack you. Kill him, Uve. won't let me do it. I guess we'll have to finish trades off last next turn. Huh, he couldn't hit him. Next turn, you're dead, Trace. Yeah, I'm sure that they all die quickly. At least the wing boys are killing them all.
Anything about saying about Wu Fei, I just thought about that because I'm thinking, you know, Wu Fei and Trey's in this stage. You ever just realize Wu Fei keeps a sword in his in his Gundam? left his trays. What you get? What? Trey just does not want to die. Dang, he fully restored everybody.
Let's finish him off. It's sad, but it's just sad. We lost the best character in all of Gundam Wing. And now we're on to Gundam Sea Destiny stuff. They're inside there and hmm? Uh oh. Arc right. Nope. They're ongoing rivalry. You know, an adult versus a little psychotic fifteen year old. So that is the end of this part, but let's finish them off real quick. Nah. Yeah, that should settle it. I just gotta finish them off.
Nah, no, that'll be enough now. Ah, oh, well. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next part.